So if you want to create screen recordings that keep viewers engaged, I'm going to show you how to capture and edit your screen with Camtasia just like a pro. And I'm going to show you a couple of the interesting dynamic effects that you can add to really make your video stand out. So let's jump in. So Camtasia is sort of an all-in-one tool to be able to record your screen, record yourself, edit it, and export it and kind of do everything all together. So I'm just on the trial version to show you how this works, but you can certainly buy the full version that unlocks all the features and removes the watermarks. But once you download and install that, and you just go on to Camtasia.com and it walks you through the installation process. Once you have it ready to go, then we're gonna start here. So you got a couple options when you first open up Camtasia. We're gonna go to new recording. It's gonna open up the system just like this. And so here's kind of the, the layout of this, is we're gonna do our screen recording, and you've got a couple of different options. You can do just the full screen. I have a couple of different monitors there. You could just select a region, which will open up a way of, of just sort of highlighting a certain section of your video that you wanna record. And what I really like is they also have presets. So let's say you know you're gonna be recording a video that you wanna put on Instagram, let's say. You can do a vertical format and it'll create a video or a screen recording of exactly that format to go on there. They have the square, large, small, whatever you want. In our case, we're just gonna do the screen recording. We're gonna do our full size monitor, and then you're gonna select your camera. So you can see I have my webcam selected there, and then it lets you pick your microphone, lets you pick your system audio, and so you just wanna make sure that you select the correct devices. I have multiple microphones plugged in, so you wanna make sure you select the right one, and once everything's set there, then all you have to do is hit record. And what this is doing, it's gonna count down it's going to give you a little countdown there. And now we're recording. And as you record, you are, you know, you're talking. Maybe you want to demonstrate some things. You want to click around, show them how to do something, tutorials, much like we're doing now. I'm using another software to record this device. So you don't see it on the screen right now, but there's a little toolbar that pops up that shows you how long you're recording for and then a, a stop button. So we're going to click that stop button there. And once you stop it, it automatically is going to open that up into its editor. And this is where the real power of this software comes into play. So you can see it gives you a little preview of what you have here, and it automatically applied a couple of things. So you can see I have my screen recording here, and you can see it has me, but it already has cut me out and did sort of a little cutout version so I can be in front of there. So you can watch this back and then you could change the format. Maybe you then decide, oh, I do want that in vertical or I want that in square. And then you wanna now change around some things. You just wanna go to edit in Camtasia. Once it opens up the editing software, this might look a little overwhelming at first glance, but I'll walk you through what each of these things do. So first thing is all of these are sort of different windows that are in there, so you can adjust those, right? So you can make that bigger or smaller. You can just hover over it, make that bigger or smaller, whatever you want, right? So you can kind of adjust this exactly the size you want. So you have a preview up here. This is what you're looking at. This is what your final video is gonna look like. You've got some tools over on this side, effects that we can add, and I'll talk about that here in a second. And then here's some other information, just to be able to make adjustments and things like that to each of the, the clips. Then down below here, this is your timeline. And what the timeline is, is as you play the video, you see this little marker here scrolls along and it shows you, it's called the timeline because this is the time that it is in the video. So when you stop it, that's exactly where you're at in the video. And this is the full length of the video, okay? And everything's sort of stacked up here. This is my screen, this is me on the very top. And then we have the screen recording down there. And then we have the background. So what I want you to do is just think of this like we were looking down through panes of glass, right? So we're looking at this is on the top. So you can see this is right here. This is this layer, right? So it's above all of the other layers, right? And so we can move this however we want. We can adjust that. Maybe I just want me down in the corner and we can resize me you know, make it a little smaller. And then below that, you select that. That is the window that we were recording on. Again, you can resize that. 
here, make it whatever size you want. And then behind there is this background, which they have already added in there. You can change the colors of that background. It could be one color, whatever you want. Maybe we don't want the background, right? So we could just hit the delete button. It goes away. You now don't have a background. And, and let's say I just want this to be full screen. So we're just going to adjust that. And there we go. All right. And then we can move me over here and go that way. Okay. So we can do all of that. Now, what you can do is you can see once we're selected on there, you can come over here and you can see you could scale it this way. You could change the opacity. So maybe you just want like a little hue there, right? You can rotate it. And then what it already had applied was this remove background feature. So you can, I can put the background back in there, but I kind of like that. So we're gonna leave that out. And then you have even more options. You can feather the edges, right? You can adjust the blur, whatever you want. You can make all those adjustments just like that. All right, and so once you have that sort of the way you want it, now we can add in additional effects. And over here, this is sort of your effects window and it has all the different options, right? So we've got the annotations, you can add visual effects. So like there's the remove background, you can change the color, you can blur things, transitions. Now this is where you could sort of like change how a clip transitions from one clip to another. We only have two clips, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. But what I wanna show you is we have a cursor effect. So you can see I'm doing a screen demonstration of what's on the screen. So maybe now I already have a highlighter on my cursor, but let's say we want to add something additional. So let's do the cursor spotlight. OK, so we want to make sure that we're selecting the right layer. And then what you want to do is take that cursor highlight, click on it, drag it down and see it already highlighted that bottom layer, knowing that that's where you can apply that. And then when you release it, it applied that effect to that portion. And now you can see it does this little highlight feature so that when the cursor is moving around, it's highlighting it and dimming everything else. So that's kind of a nice thing. So you can add those effects just like that. So then let's go up to media and you've got all these kind of like B-roll. You've got titles you can add. You've got the backgrounds. You can add some music in there. We're going to add a title. So we're just going to drop that onto the layer above. So now that is above all of the layers. And then over here, it has the text. So you can change this out and go learn, right? Click on the next one. How, okay, go down here and you go to do, right? So we just created, took their preset title template and added that in there. And then you can see when you play it back, you go at that point in the video, it's going to add right on there, right? Now, what we could do is add a transition now. So we go to the transitions, take the accordion. Again, you just drag it down in there and it's highlighting in yellow the areas that you can drop that. So you put that right at the beginning there. And now we have a nice little accordion effect to bring that title in there, right? So you have all of these little things that you can add and really spice up your tutorials. And then that goes away. And let's go back up to media. Let's say, oh, I wanna add some music. So you can preview it. Cool. We'll take that and we're just going to drop that down into another track here. Just kind of put it down below there. OK. And then the other nice thing, too, is you could you saw when my cursor goes to the end here and it changes to little two arrows. I can click that and now I can drag that over and we can just make it the length of the video. We can go here. We can zoom in. So this isn't changing the length, that's just changing the how much we're seeing. And now we listen, got some music in there, and we're just gonna bring the audio down so you see there's this little green bar that goes across the whole audio there. So we're just gonna grab that, bring that down, preview. There, that sounds like a good level. So now we've added a title, we've highlighted our, our cursor, we have the screen recording, we have my video on there, and the video is the way we want it. And when you're done with that, all you have to do is go up to export up here in the top right hand corner, click export. And you've got a couple options. You can do a local file, which just creates a video, everything all together as one video and saves it on your computer. You can do a screencast, which this is a nice feature that comes included where it'll create this video, but it uploads it to their website onto your profile of the website. 
so that you can have a link to send to somebody. And then YouTube will render a version and upload it to YouTube if you have your YouTube account linked. So I'm gonna show you this screencast here. So you can see now I'm on the free version, so it is gonna have a watermark in the video. Or you can buy the, the full version to be able to remove the watermarks and do that. For this, I'm just gonna say free version with the watermark. You click on that, you go produce with watermark, and then it comes up here and you go screencast and you could change the title of this, call it tutorial, and you click export, okay? And it's just gonna take a few minutes to render out the video that's compiling all of the images, everything that was in that video as one and making it one final video here. And now once that finishes rendering, it's exporting the video up to their server. So I'll just bring that window over here. And once it has created this video, now you can add, change the title, you can add a description onto there, do whatever you want. You can preview it, make sure everything looks the way you wanna do it. But here's the real power, because this is uploaded onto their server, uh, you can click the share link and it'll give you a link here that you can copy and email to somebody and then they'll be able to watch it directly on there so they don't have to download a video, they don't have to install anything, they can just watch it on the web base platform and then they will be able to add comments or likes or little emojis, whatever they want. And so you can share videos that way versus having to send somebody the video or again, if, if you want to upload it directly to YouTube, you can do that. And with that, you have shot the video, edited and uploaded it and shared it with all your friends with one software, Camtasia. So I hope this video is helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.